Oh, okay. You have to move like the mouse cursor a little bit uh, before it starts playing properly. That's very weird. Yeah, the game in progress. Delete the save. Yes. That would be ideal, methinks. Man, it's been a while since I played this. I might have to turn my screen brightness up as well. It's a bit dark. Yeah, I should do it. That should do it. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Go with the classic scholar playthrough, why not? Last night I dreamt that I was killed by something horrible. Two details stand out. Stonehenge in three days. I've not learned to dismiss my dreams when they get this vivid. For some reason I cannot shake a sensation of deja vu. I have memories of assembling a ritual, fleeing through darkened hallways and firing a gun at something unimaginable. I feel like some distant part of me may have died this way. Hundreds of times, perhaps thousands. Oh boy, fun game! Oh, I've got like all the diary pages and everything, but we won't look at that right now. And I've nearly finished the bloody file as well, like I've nearly got everything in here. Like the only thing that I'm missing is like just these monsters and the tall man is like the biggest pain in the arse. But yes. The Consuming Shadow. What a cool game this is. Just start with a basic playthrough, why not? Ooh. Mud kick capacity. So we can kind of go with like three extra ammo capacity here. I can probably get a bit cheeky as well and get like... Mm, that should probably do. Kind of want more bullets as well. Yeah, a whole bunch of them in there. Okay, we can only have maximum of eight extra bullets. Fair enough. Bell chance, research. Sanity, that's what we want. Boop. We want as much of that as we can get. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, I, want, I want it, please. Thank you. Crab. Love me a good old crab. Yum. Now we find ourselves at a bit of a dilemma. Hmm. We can't go for any more any more ammo. I think we can go for more health and stuff though. I'm going to go for sanity because that tends to be the thing that uh, can kick you in the arse. All that extra stuff I have. Yes, good old cursed towns. They're always a bit naff, ain't they? We go to Burholm. Yes, how's uh, how's Jelly do doing, by the way? If I've not asked you yet. And I hope anyone who may be lurking is also doing rather spiffing today. Me, on the other hand, I'm doing quite all right. Definite for, for holding Boham. Going to make its move soon. Oh, yes. I'm going to get my ass in there and mess it all up. What's your problem? Matic area, payment, dealt with the problem, blah, 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 blah. Let's fuck him up. Oh, we'll see, that's the wrong. <laughs> that's the wrong button. Oops. I'm so used to running being uh, being the square button in survival horror games. An old lucky charm, look at that. Yum. More luck. That would be handy. No, Cathoth, blah, 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 blah. Cathoth is identified with the Bati rune, okay. Got our first bit of uh, evidence there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lovely, wonderful. Mm. <laughs> oh. 
Man, I always love this game. It's such a simple little thing, but it, it's it's rather wonderful. Can people see my... I'm pretty sure you can actually see my mouse cursor there. I forgot this was one of those games where uh, your mouse cursor shows up. Ooh, okay. Kill it! Bloody hell, that's quick, isn't it? This is actually kind of an excellent start. Got two items, got a whole bunch of bullets and shit, and uh... Getting a whole bunch of like uh, spells and stuff. Got all out of PSN. Nice. I might as well go the go the whole hog here. White patty. Sure. It made me happy. No. Oh, I. I Fucking hoppers. Absolute balance they are. Oh god, they're everywhere. They bloody hurt as well. But this is the awful things we have to deal with whenever we're facing against old eldritch gods and all that. Oh god, another. <laughs> Fuck her off. Ah, okay, anxiety. That's gonna be a penis. My god, this is like the, the most amount of hoppers I've ever seen in a playthrough. Those little lads are usually quite, uh... quite rare as far as normal enemies go. Get money! Right, um... Yeah, we've got a fair bit of dosh. We might as well uh, get some bullets and stuff, won't we? That's pretty good, honestly. That's pretty damn good. Yes. Yes. And yes. Pretty kitted out already. I cannot complain, but complain uh, about that. Let's make our way to Old Hill. Alien invasions? What? Oh, but <laughs> oh god. Oh, okay. I thought it was telling us that uh, it was getting invaded again. Yeah, alien mouths. Can't trust them. They're weird and they smell funny. Okay. Well, I don't really need to go up here, do we? We've got plenty of uh, stuff for now. And that's quite alright. Stopped to enter a corner shop that then looked abandoned and was confronted by an armed man in hastily assembled survival gear. Man in money from a terrified cashier. Attempts to simultaneously cover both me and the cashier with his gun, flicking his aim left and right. His eyes are wide and nervous. Damn right, I need my body armor. Body armor I'm wearing lends me enough confidence to advance upon a robber, de demanding the gun. Pressure he fires, and the bullet lodges itself in the Kevlar, winding me but causing no harm. Nice. See a terror in his eyes as I shrug off the shot, and I'm. Able to get the gun from his sweating hands. It's gonna, be f it's gonna feel horrible to hold. He flees, and my efforts are rewarded with both the remaining ammo in the gun and thirty-one pounds from the impressed cashier. Nice. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, I made it. Hoy, Craven. How art thou doing, mine friend? 
As you can see, we're playing a very good game here. Small infestation of critters. Let's mess them up. Office building, evacuated, exterminated. Yeah, so we're doing an extermination thingy. Eh? Yes, find and destroy a nest. Game has a has a car and a in the soap effect for back seating. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, so perfect for back seating. Lol. I see what you're doing there, you plonker. That's a good meme. I appreciate it. Hello. Mm. Oh. I'm pretty sure that's where the nest is, but I kind of want to cover most of the hospital because I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of documents and stuff here that we can use. Oh dear. The horror. Hey. Somebody called Cathoth, blah 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 blah. Cathoth is the is an enemy of the god identified with the Shum. Okay. So Shum. I'll keep that clue on just in case. It can still be Yeah, I saw you coming out of the bloody thing there. Cheeky bastard. Doing good, that's good to hear then. Who would have thought to see me doing a bloody stream and all that, innit? You never see this happen nowadays. It's about bloody time. You gotta get the mood in before uh, before November begins, because you know what's coming in November. Oh yes, you certainly do. God of Lust is not the invading god. Hmm. Keep that up there, just in case. Yeah, we're not being chased, that's good. Guess we can use our lockpick. Yeah, I see ya. Oh, didn't mean to press that. Oopsie daisy. Biala, colour white. Don't have anything on Biala yet. I see you, ghosty goo. Oh, this has got a lockpick out of it. That's pretty cool. Just got into a game when I started. It was like, for fuck's sake. You're locked here against your will. You will do my bidding. You will do as I say when I say you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here. Get yeah, a lot of uh, get a lot of usage out of my thing, my uh, gun in this playthrough. Yeah, that spell could be cool. That would be handy. Open all locks just in case I ever want to get rid of the uh, the lock pick kit. Which I probably will at some point. Depends what items I get though. That's what it ultimately comes down to. I shall wrap it up fast though. You speedy lad. Any creative endeavours? Not too much, really. I've I've not been feeling too in the um, in the mood for creative stuff. Um, but I would like to um, continue on with like the quake mapping thingy, and I am kind of in the mood to probably make a new Doom map, probably. But um, lately, not too much creative stuff going on. Nay. 
I need to get off my get off my fat to lazy ass and make something because that's like one of the things in my life that brings me like massive amounts of happiness is making s cool stuff that uh, people enjoy. I want to make people's necks extend as they enjoy what I make. I want to infect people with the virus that makes them enjoy and become giraffe people. That's my ultimate plan. My dastardly plan. Oh. You know, I was actually, like, almost not going to do a stream today, because I was, like... I, I, I was thinking... Oh, man, I, I, because I've been playing so much of Amnesia the Bunker lately, and that game is just so... so bloody good. Bloody fantastic. And I was, uh thinking yeah I wanna I wanna I wanna play that but nay no, not yet because I I want to do um because I want to do a bit of a streamage and all that get back into the mood back into the groove of it because there's just, there's just something about um when you when you're in the mood for streaming like once you once you go you just kind of don't want to stop. So I had to fight the urge to play a really, really bloody cool game. Which chances are I'll probably do a playthrough of the bunker on stream at some point anyway, because it's it's quite short and it's uh, very very heavily replayable, and it's just so bloody good. Just geniality out to people, blah blah blah, smile rarely. People baggy clothing, button to the neck. There is some evil, evil going on here. Tells people go to the park. You've gone to a park, isn't it lovely? Right, we gotta find a big, big monster. I hope the big monster's gonna be a more ass. That's one of the monsters I need to get more uh, research on. Which for some reason is called more ass. I love it. Oh god, bloody hoppers! I did not mean to shoot there. It's fine. It's fine. We'll live. Yeah, already these, uh... Or getting a, these dungeons starting to get a fair bit bigger. Yup. But oh god, you have to be a bloody real thing, don't you? Oh, you asshole! Oh, when it bloody swings like that, you can't hit it, and, and it does that, like, when it's moving around sometimes, and it becomes such a pain to fight. Right, we've got one uh, piece of the ban banishment ritual. Lovely job, Lou. Trash. I'm not going to find too many documents around here. Uh, the park is more about getting finding fat loot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Uh, uh, come here. Yeah, yeah. Asshole. Right, uh... Batika's Agon. Get some healage. The violent surge, my body regenerated. Bones snapped back into lime and wounds were yanked closed. The experience was quite ghastly. A 
Very ghastly indeed. But they got us all healed up and stuff, so I can't complain. I cannot complain one bit. Oh, well, I wept a Lloyd. Holy cheese, Louise, it's Infer Man. This is. I am, I am the arch enemy of Cheese Louise. Infer Man. We must join forces against the evil Cheese Louise before she cheeses up all our Louises's. Or something, I don't know what she does. I don't think we are, we've ever thought about what, what supervillain powers she has. But yes, how are you, my friend? I was very close to not, um, not streaming today, because um, I'm so close to beating my playthrough of Amnesia the Bunker. And, and, and gosh, that, that game is... That game is just so fucking great. So bloody good. But, you know, it's kind of tradition to have a bit of uh, the Consuming Shadow during the uh, the October times. So, of course, I need to get get this in. And there's also another, like, horror-ish uh, roguelite as well that I kind of want to do before November. Because we all know what's coming in November. And, um, I'm just wondering what day I could do that. Because it's a pretty cool game. I won't mention what it is yet. Nearly the dead, the minions around the town remain. Watching the remaining towns, right? Blah, 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 blah. Yes. It's quite good. Been having loads of fun with Astrobot and considerably less fun with Plutonia. <laughs> Over with for now. Hmm. It sounds to me that you have a fair bit more plutonia on your uh, plate in the future. You know what? It's going to be a bit of a hot take and whatnot, but um, I kind of really like plutonia. Like, like, like I, I know it's a real, real uh, pain in the ass sometimes, but I don't know. There's something about it that I find fun. Maybe it's like the levels look pretty cool. Or it might be, um, like the action's like really intense, it gets me like running around everywhere and, and whatnot. And you have to like find creative ways to deal with like a whole bunch of, uh, obstacles and whatnot. I don't know, there's, there's, there's just something about Plutonia that when I played it, I, I always find myself enjoying it, even if it is a, a gigantic pain in the ass. Oh, you beat it, okay. Master levels. Definitely more enjoyable than TNT despite some really evil chain gun interrupts. See, I kind of actually really like TNT as well. Like, I feel like... But I feel like TNT is also like a real mixed bag. Like, some levels in it are surprisingly really good. And then other levels are like... Okay. <laughs> so, so it's just kind of, um... I guess that's kind of the problem with TNT, is that it's just very woefully inconsistent. It ranges from really good to pretty awful. Whereas, like, Plutonia is, like, consistently really good, even if it's an arsehole. At least in my opinion. Was enjoying TNT up until about level 20. Yeah, the, le the levels like around that point definitely started going downhill for me as well. Like a fucking Baron's Den. Ugh. Baron's Den. What, what a... Probably the worst official Doom level ever. Not gonna lie. <laughs> right, man in orange prison outfit and, and he's doing naughty things. I am going to try talking to him. Oh, it works. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm actually surprised that worked. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Got some money. Uh, do we need anything from here? Not particularly. 
Now, do we? Yeah, we do have drugs. Got drugs just in case. Man, I fucking love drugs. Put them in my veins. I'm joking, Twitch, by the way. Don't get in a tizzy. Game looks quite moldy. Yeah, one might say it's a very moldy game. I don't know if you've seen this uh, being played before, but it's actually um, it's actually a game that Yahtzee made, and uh, and it's probably one of uh, one of my favourite roguelites personally. There's just like a vibe and a style that that this game has that so few games just can't can't replicate for me. I don't know. It's it's like a weird thing, but I I just really enjoy it. Expensive car. We do have the lock pick, the locksmith kit, so we can uh, sort that out for him. Short lock of the lock and managed to reunite it in his briefcase. He seems impressed with the speed on w with which I did the job. He paid me money. In a hushed voice, a uh, little something extra. A syringe filled with some recreational narcotic. Oh dear. Finally, more drugs. Yeah, yeah. As soon as I arrive. Oh dear. Monsters attacking everyone. Quick, kill the monsters. Beautiful. Got plenty of bullets out of it as well. Nice. Uh, okay, yeah. Get myself some more, some more stuff while I'm here. You got shitloads of money. God damn. Get everything. Just, just get everything. We're doing fucking great. We're doing bloody fantastic. But no worky. Ugh. All right, give me a sec. Let me set this arsehole back up for you. Because I did. I did check this. I did make sure it works. But no, it has to be a big, great big bloody arsehole all the time. Fucking cloud bot. So to be honest, I'm kind of like thinking I'm moving like a lot of the Streamlabs stuff away, uh, and putting it onto maybe stream elements or something. And sometimes Streamlabs can be a bit shite. There we go, it should be back on now. Keyword should. Righty. Let's just enter the town. After the clocks went back, it's getting dark at 17 already. I want spring right now. Right here. God, yeah. Uh, something about... Oh, wait, I've already been here. Duh. Never been a... Never been much of a... Well, I say I've never been a fan of autumn. I kind of like, um, like early autumn time. You know, where things kind of like chill out a bit, but it's still like quite nice. Whereas like sort of the late autumn and like winter time is just kind of like, ugh. Ooh, money! I don't know, I just don't do well with cold weather for some reason. Bit of a shame, because I do kind of like walking around, um, like when it's cold. Now we're going to get a lot more if we just kind of keep to the... to England. I, I appreciate the added quotes. <laughs> but yeah, something about like going on like winter walks is quite nice, where you get to like sort of, uh, you know, get... Oh my god, there's... Money! Hey, g -g -g -g. I, I kind of want to go for it. 
Did say there was money in it. Hmm. Hmm. Eleven hours. How many hours do we have right now? I actually don't know. Uh. I forgot. No. Let's keep the course. Let's stay, yeah, 41 hours. Which means we're going to have to kind of just commit to what we're doing. Grammar school, so I'm pretty sure we got to... Pretty sure we got to kill monsters, or is it... Yes, we got to destroy one. Nest. Go away, mouse cursor. Used to love winter and hate summer when you was a small child. Now it's the opposite. Yeah, something about like summer, like like especially like during uh, like like a nice cool summer days where it's still like bright out and whatnot. Oh man, those are the best. A cool summer day with the light with the sun out. You can't beat that. Of course, cool summer days are uh, very rare. For, for obvious reasons. I mean, it's fucking summer. What do you expect? But man, a cool, a cool day is is cool, cool, cool. Uh, oh yes. Look at the skillage on that one, good sir. Indeed. Nix. Allied with the god associated with the color red. <laughs> well, we uh, we're gonna need a bit more than that. Luckily, I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of documents in the houses. Viala, so you're associated with symbol or red pigment. Nyx is allied with the colour red. Okay. So this means that Biala. Biala and Nyx are allied together, so Nyx is white, Biala is red. Okay, so let's put both of these in Shun. And then Biala, Gnix. Uh, Biala is red, and Gnix is white, okay. It, 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 it. Yes! Yes, so it's the end with the colour red. Indeed, we have that correct. But the God of Lust is not the invading god, and Kathoth is the enemy of... So, we know Kathoth is not the invader, and we know these two are possible invaders. Look for the jubbly. Hey, bloody hoppers! Oh god, he had a bleed. Ugh. I'm seeing more of those like little wasp things as well, like way more than I've ever seen in any other playthrough. Usually it's the big wasps that are like really, really common. Appears to be the enemy of Kthoth, yes, we, we know that. Usually the big fat ones are like the common ones. Ah, bloody hoppers! I'm gonna learn Unity and make Trepang 1, the heartwarming prequel where we get to witness the birth of Subject 106. Yes, literal birth where he comes akimbo <laughs> wielding and blasting out of the womb. That would be rather fantastic. I'd play the shit out of that. Uh, don't throw up on me! Uh, I do not want to be showered with you. I don't want to smell like pukey pukes and he's weird. Banishment ritual. No, it's not banishment ritual. We're not being chased. That's a surprise. Ah, bloody meatball. Ah, fucking meatball. 
Remember kids, when meatballs start attacking you and become massive, they are not your friends. Ah, oh. I'm less mad. Thank you, Petit Rune. But look at the skills on that. Bravely wounded. Ah, shit. That's gonna be fun. Which means we gotta get to a bloody. Uh... Wait, I'm pretty sure restoration. Uh... Sorts that out, don't I? But I could also just use my money rather than my sanity. That might be the better idea right now. I don't want to take too many drugs just yet. Oh, go oh you yeah. sneaky little shit. It's like a bloody spectre in uh, in Doom. With like the software renderer where you can barely see them. TTS is a tad loud, yeah, so I've uh, I had a feeling that would be the case. Because usually, um I find that TTS lad is usually quite, uh, like, pretty quiet a lot of the time. I want to sound the page, please. Oh, so I guess, is a st stream to chat? No. Store redemption? No. Hello, I am freaking loud, oh, apparently. Ah, it's doubling over. Oh god, panic. No, t TTS settings. Here we go, um, uh... Uh, uh, 70. Let's go with that, yeah. Right, that should be, uh... Should be Bell? I'll do my own TTS test. It's gonna be the best TTS test you've ever seen. Titties. Yeah, that seems, that seems a bit better. Sure. Titties. Yeah, we can, we can, we can live with that, I think. Methinks. Drakia is a smelly lad. Stinky, stinky, smelly, ooblesh. <laughs> ooblesh. Stinky, stinky, ooblesh. Love it. There he is, look, you summoned him. All we have to do is just call him Stinky and he is there. I need to get this, uh, this bleeding sources, won't I? Oh, bless me. Oh. oh, bless me. Youngish man dressed as a priest, clutching a smoking gun. Corpse man, I can take me to see his, uh, water quite horrifically by the shadow. I just my presence, but does not look up. Well, you know, in situations like that, you just have to tell them the truth, won't you? How's Drakaya bum doing today, my friend? Tell the priest everything, and he stares wide-eyed throughout. When I'm finished, he has only one question for me. Can you stop it? Tell him that I hope so. In reply, he gives me his gun, and mournfully he goes back inside the church. Get three hollow, hollow points, nice. So I do like these, like, uh, little events as well. And, um, like the little short stories within them. I think I think it's just kind of like like the writing, like, just kind of... Just grips me with with stuff like that. Like, along with the music as well, and everything. Just gets me super into it. You're getting money all over the place, bloody hell. I live again. Well, that means you're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna have to play Blood next year now, Drakaya. You'll be forced by everyone's hand here. You'll get sat on until you play it. Hmm. 
No. No, I don't think I will. Blood is a good game. And now that just makes me really want, uh... Oh. Why is this town to be a subtle one? Troubling signs have begun to emerge. Ready to give urgent accounts. Shifting the designs by another. Hmm. There is an evil here. Showing myself in absolute secrecy, I was able to play the uh, distraught and divulge. Blah, 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 blah. So I believe we're going to have to go finding someone. Yes. Indeed. Yes, not blood though. But it's good. Good game. Got well, a shitload of uh, armor piercing rounds. Hello. <laughs> You're right there. Bouncing your ass on the ceiling. He's loving it. Look at him go. Boing, 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 boing. Wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble, jelly on a plate. No, don't puke on me. I did nothing to deserve this. Shum. Yum. Okay, it didn't do anything for me. Fair enough. Oh, hello. Uh, you see. Yeah, fuck off, Obi Wan. Trying to use your Jedi mind powers on me. Ain't gonna work. Ain't gonna work on me. No matter, you can catch another stream. <laughs> I'm guessing you are going at the usual time. Around right about the usual six o'clock. But you know, as per the meme, uh, we, we all know that the real uh, normal time now is uh, 7 o'clock. 6 o'clock is just a, just an hour, hour early. <laughs> um. Scratching and blah 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 blah. Let the white out. Ew. He's got cum blood. He bleeds cum. I mean, oh wait, hold on. Color white is associated with the concept of madness. Okay, so Genex is the god of madness. That is useful. Cathartha is an enemy of the god and identified with Shun. Yes, of course, we can mark that off. So we know for a fact that the god of lust is not the invading god, but that could also be Cathoth. I see you hiding there. Hello. You, you. Smack, smack, smack. And f fuck off. Oh, yay. Cheese, grommet. Oh, you're big. That was a bit spooky. <laughs> Got laughed at and then the stream crashed. No. Stream Toho. Wow. That is going to be Seizure Simulator. See the simulator 2024. Soon to be 2025. Ah, the passage of time. Don't we just feel fucking old? I still can't believe I'm gonna be fucking. Um. Oh, you, you, don't shoot me. Uh. 
smack him on the air. That's how you deal with gunmen. Once I'd pulled a gun on me, I had no choice, but I must, uh, must have been turned by the shadows and minions. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Who are we getting chased by? Who are we getting chased by? Oh, it's the fat man. Ooh. We're getting chased by a. Uh. Oh, God, we're getting chased by a Reddit mod. Help. Oh, fuck me. I do not want to be ensnared in his neck beard. Uh, 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 bye. Oh, no, I, I want to go up. Uh, uh. Run for your life, he smells. Oh, dear. Gimme. Thank you. No, you will not touch me. You do not have the right. Oh, you do not have the right. News of death did not, it seems, come entirely unexpected to the poor soul, waiting for my return. But at least I got... Money! Updated ritual, what do we have? Restoration, dark vision. I should be using dark vision in all honesty. Like, we have plenty of sanity to spare for it. Hmm. I kind of want to, like, circle around the, uh, around the east, and then kind of come back around to the west. We should have time to do all of that. Yeah, 36 hours should be enough. And so the weather figure by the side of the road seems to take on several monstrous qualities. An old man hunched over, clad in trailing rags, flagging me down. A view of his craggy face. Hmm. Let's trust this suspicious old man. <laughs> drugs! Of course we're gonna buy drugs. Let's get all the drugs. That <laughs> carelessly tosses me the needle. Uh. Got stopped as he threw it at me. The arsehole. The Vatican officially has an anime girl mascot now. Wait, really? That's incredible. Is the fat man unkillable? Yes. Like, he, he's, uh, he's a stalker type enemy, and yeah, the stalker type enemies are, are un unkillable. Not that kind of abuse. Dirty boy. You dirty little shit. Gorboro. Well, there. Yeah, I might as well go in. Lots of violence fills the air. Spilt blood, monsters attacking people in the streets. Everything's gone to shit. Thick forest, clamping it like a massive lobster's claw. Which the creature creatures have been emerging. So Yeah, we gotta kill a monster. A big one. Big monster. It's gonna be absolutely massive. Yala is an ally to the God of Madness. Yes, we've already we've already established that. 
Oh, hello. Meatball. Oh, it's a... Fuck off. Gosh, we're getting all the money. I'm not complaining. Give me more of the money. So then nobody can say, what? No money? To me. Only I can say it. I'm the only one allowed. Oh, bloody hoppers. Well. Ah, nah, I got two tons. Uh. Yeah, you, you've. Fuck off, meatballs. You bastards. That was a shitload of enemies. Bloody hell. Give it to me. No, I can't get my sanity back. This is so sad. Now we're giving me my. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh dear! Oh dear! Always scares me how fast those bloody things are. Doesn't appear to be able to physically survive in this universe. So Genix is not the invading god, so that means Kathoth is the god of lust. So Genix is not the invading god, so that means Biala is the only invader. And we do have his rune. We can actually go and uh, go to the final dungeon right away. Invader's enemy! I use, I use just like button, not invader. It's better, better that way. Right, so, uh. Yeah, we can actually just go straight to the final dungeon, as far as I know. But do we. No, okay, we don't have the full banishment ritual. So we can't quite do that just yet. Oh god, stinky. Oh, stinky people. Oh, got two of them in one go, nice. Stimkiest meatballs. Indication of these stalker types, or are you, uh, figure out by playing? This resource is on, I'm gonna run. Um, whenever the game says, like, um, when you complete a dungeon, and the game says run, then that's when you know you're, um, you get stalked by a stalker enemy. Oh, fuck off. That's when you know you're in a, you're in a bit of a, a bit of a mess. Oh god, oh no, light, please, please. Well, God, Pukey McPukerson has returned. I forget what the thing about Doom Eternal again. Well, you see, the thing about Doom Eternal is... <laughs> it's good, actually. Yeah, I, I said it. I, I said it. It's, it's, it's good. Okay, orange. Orangey. So, no BR is orange. It's just pretty, pretty good. Pretty good game. I certainly want to, um, value you little. I certainly want to do a replay of it at some point. Likely before the year's end. Also in the mood for a Doom 2016 replay as well, to be honest. Might end up doing a, a no upgrades run. Yeah, I'll fuck. Might as well do restoration. Batika, Batika's agon. Yeah. Fuck it out. That really heals. Wow. Oh, pardon me.
I forgot just how powerful that spell is. Got plenty of drugs, don't you worry. I get the feeling we are gonna need need to use them a fair bit. So I feel like our playstyle right now is going heavily into uh, spell casting and um and gun. Shoot gun. It's a shoot game. It's an okay game. No no Daikatana, mind you, of course. The best game in the world. Well, that's exactly where we're going. Would you look at that? We. Oh, okay. Thanks, Trilby. I appreciate that. Problematic area. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Big creature. Yeah, I might do Shum Agon. Yes, Night Eye. And of course, our uh, accuracy has been absolutely fucked um, during this, so. Yeah, joy. He's a guy to shoot fairly close range. Would have been kind of cool if, uh, if the dark vision was like, oh no, controls. Thanks, game. I appreciate it. If the, if the dark vision was like, like a bluish colour, make it like the night eye in oblivion. Oh god, yeah, like, look at that fucking accuracy. Just goes to absolute shit with anxiety. Goes to absolute poopy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Die! Oh god, oh god, oh god. How do you miss from that bloody... Kill it! How do you keep missing? Oh god, we're all out of fucking thing. Smack it! Fucking hell, that thing was tough. Oh! Oh, that's a wonderful spell to get. You bastard door. That's a rather wonderful spell to get. Come here. Oh, I've already got a stab proof fast. Oh, no, 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 of course, that's a different thingy, yeah. Defense of air wounding, yes, yes. Smack, 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 smack. We're not going to find any more documents here, so I might as well keep going. Oh. I lost my groove. Right, might as well give me some uh, some bullets. There is a shite load here. Um, thank you. I appreciate the bulletin. Um, that's worth. Yeah, we can probably get some more bullets there, I think. They're clearly alive, judging by the way, blah, 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 blah. Either a fresh possession. I'm gonna watch and wait. 
Oh dear. Well, shit. I'll just watch someone die. Don't I feel like a real piece of shit? Right, bullets. Nothing else matters. Hobble gate, please. I do hope that everyone here has been muchly enjoying their spooky month. Me? No, I'm not going to say Gone Gaga, that's Drax thing. Me, on the other hand, I've actually been uh, getting super into what spooks. I've been watching a whole bunch of films, uh, playing a whole bunch of games, and whatnot, and after I do the stream, I might go go straight back to uh, Amnesia the Bunker, because it's just so bloody good. Which I'm pretty sure I'm quite near the end of that. I have a few other games uh, downloaded as well, like Tormented Souls and Carrion and a few other things that I've been meaning to play this this um, this month, but man, there's just been so much so much spooky stuff to get into and enjoy that I uh, just haven't had, had time for all of it. Like, I was considering playing Alien Isolation um, for this month as well, but then I thought, nah. Amnesia the Bunker. That'll be a good time. And it bloody is. Like, my god, if you haven't played Amnesia the Bunker yet, what, what are you doing? G play it. Do it. It's, it's fucking great. And who's Lila? Who's Lila's great as well. I might watch a few more films um, in the next few days as well before the end of the end of the month might watch one might watch one every night who knows kind of had a bit of a cosmic horrorish theme uh, for this month for the october this year not sure what theme i'm going to go for next year though maybe classic gothic horror like your nosferatus and all that because i've i've actually been in the mood to replay nosferatu wrath of malachi lately what a great game. Like genuinely, I'm surprised like how such a such a weird, like, little budget game like that managed to get like such a huge cult following and and ends up being a banger. It's just bloody fun, you know. I've just been really thinking about that one a lot lately. Right. A missable fat woman and stuff, yes. Got the thing we need. Uh, hit upon the idea of wearing my shoulder pads, so thirsty arm, blah blah blah, crawl. Nice. We got in there without much harm. Aww. The air tastes sharp and acrid. Heavily sits on the lungs. A runic symbol, so I guess this is like finding the artifact. Yes, I think this is finding the artifact mission. Yeah, protective wars, home of the artist. Ew, bodily fluids. Disgusting. Bloody fucking disgusting. Have I heard of Within the Cosmos? No, I haven't actually. What's that about? I am very curious. But back scene, it's easier to shoot things if you hold the gun straight. Ah, oh, this craven, I swear. This bloody, this bloody man. Back Satan right now. You're gonna get an absolute smack across the cheeks, mate. Big smack across your cheeks. Played some Xenocrisis. Yeah, Xenocrisis is pretty cool. 
Like, I, I played a bit of that on the, um... Um... Was it on my... No, it's on my main PC, because I have it on... I have it on GOG. Um, I've been playing it, uh... Played a bit of that, like, about half a year ago. And it's pretty good. It's a pretty good game, honestly. Like, sort of a mix of, like, Smash TV meets Alien, and, like... Got, like, all sorts of, like, funky weird enemies and whatnot, and, uh... It's basically on literally everything, including classic consoles, like the Sega Mega Drive. Good game. I do- I do like it. I don't know why it's, like, marked as a roguelike on... Like Steam and stuff like that, because it's 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 not it's not a roguelike at all. It's 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 more like a just sort of like a classic, like a sort of classic Mega Drivey type game. You go in, you kill shit. You you have to kill shit good. You know, with the lives and stuff you have. If you don't kill shit good and you kill shit bad, then you go back to the start of the game and you have to. Uh, you know, do do stuff better and yeah it's, it's not really you're like a rogue light I guess the levels are randomized but that's that's literally the only roguish element in it like everything else is it's more like a classic arcade game of anything it's good though I like it never realized Lila's supposed to be horror yeah it's it's a very it's a very unique horror game. It, it's 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 hard to describe without giving away anything. Because if I say anything about like what kind of a game it is, then it, it's I'm already giving away too much of what's going on. It really is one of those things where you need to like watch a playthrough of someone playing it or like play it yourself. And I, I highly recommend playing it yourself because there is just so much cool stuff to discover and when you figure a lot of things out on your own it's great you do kind of need a need a guide for the more obscure stuff though because boy oh boy i would never f i would never figure out a lot of that stuff on my own i watched a playthrough when it came out N nice it's bloody good solo developed Sci-fi FPS RPG coming out tomorrow. Mmm. Let me let me have a look again. What's that called again? Uh, within the cosmos. I want to have a have a bit of a look see because that sounds bloody interesting. I want to have a look see. Oh, has like a very funky. Uh, very funky aesthetic. I kind of like the look of it. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Like the sort of art style and um, theme it's it's going for. It reminds me an awful lot of Adaka. An awful lot of Adaka. And if you know me, you know I bloody love Adaka. So having like another another game that's sort of similar to that? Oh my, count me in. Count me in. Speaking of which, Adaka, Reptiloid, gosh, you need you need to fucking play the uh the, the, the zone patrol mode. The zone patrol mode is fucking great. It's like in my opinion, the game, whereas like the two, the uh, the campaign is almost like a like a prologue, like a tutorial to to the to the main Zone Patrol game. It's so fucking good. Like once I got into that Zone Patrol mode, it's like pretty much the only thing I played for a good long while. But yeah, that looks bloody good. It's, 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 it cl I think it's a solo, like you said, solo dev game. It looks like a solo dev game. But it looks like a really good solo dev game. And it's not early access neither. Huh. I'm really intrigued. 
that looks pretty cool. Thank you for the for the heads up on that one, Raptorvoid. I'm interested. Mufkeb, hello, friend. How are you doing today? We were just talking about some uh, some spooky stuff and uh, and a game that uh, Raptorvoid has made me privy to. That's bloody cool. Yeah, no, no, what I mean, almost like a mix of a Dakar and the Outer Worlds. I didn't like the Outer Worlds. Like, I I played it for a little bit, but then I was kind of like, nah. <laughs> nah, thanks, I'm good. And that sucks to say for an Obsidian game, since Fallout New Vegas is so good, but... The Outer Worlds just did not do it for me. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. Just something about the Outer Worlds that just didn't click with me at all. Been in development for yonks. Must be like a whole, like, uh... Like YouTube channel or something out there, like uh, devlogs and stuff. I'm surprised I've never known about it. You probably mentioned it like uh, a few times before, and it's just escaped me every time. Which is a fully believable thing with me, let's be honest. Shum Agon. <laughs> Dropped the outer worlds about 10 hours in. Yeah, it was just just something about that game that just did not feel right at all. Like, uh, I don't know. I felt like the combat was kind of pants. I I, fe I felt like the writing was just sort of like goofy Zuma humor, uh, and and the story just didn't grab me. The characters didn't grab me. Just kind of everything. Oh shit, I forgot about the body at the start. Oops. Yeah, I forgot the body at the start it tells me what I've got to do and find here. Oops. Okay, uh. I'm going to royally shit myself for getting all the wrong stuff. Hey! An exhaust. Big old muffler. And we got a big old muffler who just came into the bloody chat as well. The big muffler. Bada boo. All these Obi Wans. Shum. Shum cuz. Yes. Tee hee. Oh, gas mask. Cool. As we all know, gas masks are incredibly cool. Oh shit, it's okay. All my homies know gas masks are cool. Yeah, I see you back. I saw you, you cheeky scamp. Thought you could get away from me, sneak up on me. You are sorely mistaken. Greetings. Right, I think we have everything we need. Escape. Big face. Run. He's chasing me. Yeah, I should have I should have looked at the dead body. I forgot that part of this uh this type of dungeon. Oh I'm silly plonker, ain't I? Good to hear you're doing well though. And this combat isn't pants. I mean, it's a little, uh, it's a little pants, but I, I, I enjoy it. Like it's uh, so, it's sort of a uh, sort of classic survival horror-ish, in a two day, a two D perspective. Two day, 
In a two-day perspective, yes. Yes, that's exactly how I talk. And I enjoy. You can tell because my neck is thoroughly extended. We need some standard rounds. Yeah, that's cheap, why not? So, we're doing great on the health, but we're doing shit on sanity. Jane Outer Worlds, you're our only hope, FR Father. You gotta go to the bus in Ohio Cave and dab on their drip, cause it's a big <laughs> yikes. Make sure to girl boss on their brain rot for some Gucci Riz. Good luck, <laughs> girl boss. Something tells me that TTS is still a tinch too loud, but, uh. It, it, is it too loud? Or, 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 or is, is it fine? No, I don't want to. I don't want to quit. No. Is it fine now or is it still too loud? Okay, lovely. Wait, do we have the banishment ritual? Important. Yes, we do. Okay, we can basically make our way to Stonehenge then. Oh, you can kind of hear now that we're getting um, closer and closer to the deadline. The music's getting like more and more uh, twisted, which is a really wonderful touch I love in games like this. Like when you're getting closer and closer to the uh, to to um to failure, like everything starts to get more and more morbid. It's a really cool vibe. And not many games do it. Uh, stocky, oddly haunted fellow. In a small garage. He's playing that the shadow fell, he saw his duty to make sure people get to where they need to be. Pressed by the state of the car, considering, and has offered a boost, boost the top. Yes. Of course. We lose a little bit of time, but we, uh,. We get a hecky lot faster. Alright, so that's also a... Also a doomed town. But we can make some really good distance. That's also a doomed town. Okay, we might as well go to Elmston. I lost my sanity by getting trolled online. Right, no, no, I want to enter the town, please. Thank you. Ah, lovely. Cheers, my dears. That could be great. But we don't have the money for it anymore. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I got a bit bullet happy there, didn't I? Nah, it's fine. Castling, where's that? Fucking l bloody ages away. Stonehenge, Stone's Church. Right. I think we'll take some drugs. Yes. I shall prepare us a wonder for me. Imagine we had a complete uh every level and doom level and doom under par time or else the entire map explodes and kills you and have to restart. Honestly, that sounds like a really fun idea for like a Doom lad. Like a very shit posty one. Like it doesn't just explode, but like everything just goes absolutely mental. It just it just just turns into a uh into a Terry Wad. Like as soon as you fail one par time, everything just turns into a Terry Wad. Even if you even if you try to restart from a new game. It just gets terry wadded. 
That would be rather wonderful. <laughs> Thank you for the quote. Those part-times are really lenient. Yeah, I tend to, um, whenever I do um, mapping, I always make my part-times a little bit le more lenient as well. It's usually games with like that have like dev times. That's when you kind of have to worry. Another good quote. Thank you. Final Blaster does that if you run out of time and level fills the map with fast, fast coin-like enemies. That sounds like fun. Is waiting for an opportunity to get against the walls. Found a garage owned by an untainted man. Once convinced of my humanity, he proudly shows me modified automated vehicle. Blah blah blah. blah. Souped, up, souped up engine roars deafeningly. It is too dangerous to stay. Let's use the muffler. One man that knows may attract attention. Possible solutions. Dubious. Successfully fitted. Did you look at that? Relative safety, he returns the muffler. Before we part ways, he thanks me for my health. Blah blah blah. Oh, nice, I'm even faster now. I'm faster as shit, boy. Yes. Yeah, let's load up on. on medical shit. I kind of want to keep the locksmith's kit. Yes, Queen. Yes, Queen. Nah, we don't have the anxiety pills. Don't need that. I definitely don't need that. That could be handy. Yeah. That will be very handy. Right. Let's have a look. Good excuse to use mass death in there now that we use drugs. I'm going to kill everything with my drug fueled abilities. You can't handle my strongest drugs. Has the shoulder stock improved the fire rate of a gun? Fudge knows. Ask Yahtzee. Yes, the good old Stonehenge, the final dungeon. I am here to fuck shit up. And shit will be fucked. Whether they like it or not. Why am I not using my dark vision? <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Hello. Shum you Death. Violent wind exploded from me, tearing the lives from everything in the room. Is this the power of ancient one tends to unleash upon humanity? Oh god, spiders! Uh, yeah. Don't explode your spiders on me. Oh my god, he has so much HP. He has so much HP, Jesus. I don't really need a new lockpick. We've got plenty of them as is. No puking on me, sir, puking pukerson. No siree. El Barzo, hello there. Consume the shadow. Oh, I'm consuming it, don't you worry. I am thoroughly devouring it. Yes, hello, how are you? Cute, splody spooders. Of course dude would go on a big old say, oh, hello. Ow. 
I will defeat the tree. The flesh tree. Oh, okay. The hitbox lingers for a wee bit longer than I'd like, but it's all well. It was the dead man all along. The hideous Kojima twist. Did we miss an item? Oh, no, okay. Let's get the fudge out of there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we just got those bullets back. Nice, nice. Some silly folk bought it on release. Especially with, like, Steam stuff now, with uh, the whole... This whole ridiculous idea, like... You don't own your games, blah 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 blah. It's like fuck off. I do own my games, which is why in uh when it comes to Steam I pretty much only buy on like on on a big sale nowadays. As far as Steam games go. Games on Gog Gog on the other hand. Oh boy. Gladly. Right, let's... Okay, so Biala. We know Biala's the invader, so shum. Why is it... Weird, somehow the, the start button has stopped working. Weird. Oh well. That'd be shum shum you cuz. Big and red and bright, oh dear. Don't want to die. Can't tell me what to do. Lovely shot there, good lad. I'm gonna smack you back into the nether regions. You bitty agon. To you. Shoot them. Shoot them all. Hit it. Oh wait. You agon you. Shum shum you cuz, oh god. And you just got fucked. Who knew that defeating ancient eldritch gods would be so easy? I'm just so skilled at this video game. The thing I remember is lying in the grass near Stonehenge, being woken by the dawn of Chorus. The tunnel entrance was no longer there. The ground seemed undisturbed, and yet my hands were caked with mud and earth. No one seems to remember anything that happened. The shadow that hung over the land has vanished like smoke, as have the creatures it brought. The world sleeps now, wounded but fitfully, and no one will ever know how narrowly we escaped, or who we, they have to thank. I'm already starting to wonder if any of it was ever true, truly real, but at least I am finally at peace. I had to read that fast because look how bloody fast it goes. Jesus, it doesn't give me a chance to bloody read it. Good work, soldier. Whenever it's convenient, report in at the Ministry. I might have a little job for you. Cool stuff, Trilby. I appreciate it. I need all the money. Didn't even go insane. No. I think as long as you have the drugs, and, and, and like, the, the yellow meter is pretty high. I'm pretty sure you can't get the insane ending there. At least that's how it's always been whenever I've played. It, it, to tell you the truth, I've never actually managed to get the, uh, the insane ending. Come to think of it. At least I don't think I have. I don't know if there's a way to check if I've got all the endings. But I've got almost all of them. Rehab greater than Asylum. <laughs> oh, 
right? Because I already had it and auto updated your library. Don't get why people are so surprised by the stinging fiasco. Same should be under the for a good while now. Yeah. Like, I've personally known it for a while. Like, it's been kind of well known. But I think that people that, like, are just figuring it out now. Like, they... They probably didn't know. <laughs> because they, di they didn't read the the Eula and like they didn't really look up anything new. For me when it comes to stuff like that I tend to like watch a video of like someone who actually knows that lore stuff and whatnot and reads a lot of these Eulas and whatnot. But you know the good thing about uh, Eulas and whatnot is that they're not legally binding. And because games are being bought and sold as goods you know in, in U EU and UK you basically own your games whether Valve likes it or not. That's that's kind of a fact. They can tell you you're buying a license and that you don't own it, but you know you can tell them to fuck off because uh, company policy does not overrule the law. And that's all I will say about that. Unless the law literally shits itself and then agrees with, with Valve, then uh, you know until then you own your games whether they like it or not. That's as far as I'm going to go with that. Because I don't get like getting into the uh, the spiritual, lyrical, miracle, individual, politicky stuff. Because fuck that. Publishers already removed games from stores for different reasons. What stopped them from revoking your ownership of the copy you purchased? Exactly. Plus, there's also like the the language that um that. That's the semantics that Steam uses as well, like saying, uh, your friends own this game, and like, buy a game. It, it, it's, it's like, it's like the, 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 it's like it's deliberately being hidden from you. It's like, yeah, you know, you own, your friends own this game, you buy this game. But but then like uh, then like um the Eula and like the the buy screen saying like oh no you just buy a license and it's like well well fuck <laughs> just why I don't buy anything at full price on Steam anymore because like if they can just revoke the license what's the fucking point GOG on the other hand once that game's downloaded doesn't matter if it's the installer or the actual game files being unpacked and ready to play. It's yours. As long as it's on your system, it should- Oi! Oh, I didn't- I didn't finish reading that. You bastard. At least I can see the logbook. Successfully banished the Ancient with 11 hours remaining. Managed to escape, but my body intact. Had to prevent two of the towns from falling to the shadow. Took a balanced approach to combat, but slightly favoured guns. Firing a total of 126 bullets. Learned four spells and made use of them six times. In the end, subject was mentally shattered, narcotics riddled, crippled, burdened saviour. Give me that narcotics. Stick them in me. Which isn't to say you condone them doing that. It's fail to understand why people are so upset about Steam saying you're just getting the license to the game. Again, because... I don't think people read read the Eula. They never really knew what they were getting into. So, like the whole like people throwing a tizzy right now. It's like, yeah, we've known this for a while. It's not the law. <laughs> they can't, you know, if it's been bought and sold as a good, it is in fact a good. You can't have your goods taken away from you. And I think that's why. Why Valve is genuinely afraid of like actually taking people's games away from them is because they knew they know how much of an absolute shit show it would be, or if people like had their uh, their accounts deleted, stuff like that. It's why I don't think I've ever seen accounts on Steam being deleted unless it's in like the most absolute extreme circumstances. Because I think they know how much of an absolute shit show it's going to be. And how much of, uh... How much the lore is going to absolutely come for their ass. If they did take games away and started deleting accounts. 
And I think, I think them saying like you only own a license is kind of giving fuel to preservationists and such. Except from in the US, sir, uh, because of that, that sudden law about being passed that, um, video games are no longer protected by archive, for archive purposes. In the US, it's fucked. <laughs> Preservation there is fucked. It's really bad. A finished name in the credits. Ooh, lovely. Wait, no, you gotta play this now. <laughs> hey. Sweet, like you can't excited about a Finnish game. Excuse me, excuse me, it's a British game, actually. Made by Yartsy Croshaw. Well, that's not entirely true. Because Yartsy ha actually has double citizenship. He's, uh, he was actually born in the US, believe it or not. Because he had told the story to, um, during his Let's Drown Out series, uh, with Gabe Morton. That he was literally born on a road trip in the US, uh, when his parents visited for a while. And then he's basically taken back to the UK and he's been there, like, grew up there. And now he's back in the US. Weird and funny how that happens, isn't it? So I just really love the Let's Drown Out videos. Like, if you haven't seen Yahtzee's, like, old Let's Drown Out series with Gabe, go watch it, it's... It's genuinely great. I, I fucking miss those videos so much. They were so good. Honestly, think Ill Will has earned a place among the cream of the crop of indie game shoots, along with Dusk and Amateur Evil. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, like... my f The first time I beat Ill Will, I was like, oh my god, this is a fucking banger. It's such a shame that that got just basically ignored by everyone, pretty much. It deserved way, way more. It absolutely deserved way more. I own Eternal Evil. Would I recommend it? Eternal Evil? That sounds familiar. I might have bought that on like a really, really cheap sale. Let me have a look at that game. Because I've actually never played it. Yeah, I do own it. I do own it, yes. But I haven't played it yet. It looks like a first-person survival horror. And I do love my survival horrors. I'll, uh... I certainly want to play that, though. It's one game I've been wanted to play now that I, uh, recognise... recognise it. God, I'm so glad that survival horror has returned. Such a good genre. Just glad physical offline copies of all your favourite games. Kind of wish they'd make a comeback. Yeah, physical PC games. Gosh, I, I miss them. There's a whole bunch of like old games I need to get copies for as well. Like, I don't own any of the Silent Hill games on disc. I need to sort that out before they get even more expensive. Because, like, they, they already go for a hefty... No, tell a lie. I do have the Xbox version of Silent Hill 2. I do have that. At the very least, I do have that. The best Silent Hill. One where he plays through the games he made. Um, that's the Ego review. Um, Let's Drown Out is kind of like his whole series as a whole. Like, it's a whole channel, basically. But yes, the Ego Review was like a sub-series where we play through like a lot of his old games he made. And that's also a great series. Like, the Chizo Mythos he, uh, he did was fantastic. Speaking of making games, you watch MVGs. Yeah, I saw that earlier today as well. Yeah, that was a great, really great video. I love watching MVG stuff. Such an unfathomably based lad. Right. Let's do a little bit more. I'm going to do something I haven't done before yet. Which is actually The Descent. Uh, basically Endless Dungeon. <laughs> I've never done this before, so... Uh, 
pretty good time to do it if you ask me. At least for about 20 minutes. Well, um... So I'll be getting getting food and dindins and all that soon. Yeah, yeah, get it. Get all the melee damage. Oh my, you can get a shitload of melee damage, Jesus. Bam. I'm going to kick so much ass. The priest, no, that's not going to be too handy. Lockpick chance. Yeah, you can't go wrong with some sanity, can you? Trying to find the... There we go. There's a sweet spot. Find a spell chance? Nah. Keep forgetting the mouse cursor. What's wrong with me? Yes, let's go for the thief. Got one more to go. So, I think we'll go for like a mix between this. Yeah. The Endless Dungeon, let's go. It's gonna be great. Something you've wanted to do for longer than you can remember. I can imagine making your own engine is not easy. Especially if you're if you're making it in like a really difficult um programming language, like some like I've seen some mad lad uh, make a horror game about um making an engine on assembly of all things, and it's like holy fucking shit, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> like I struggle programming stuff, but I know for. Uh, I know for certain that, like, assembly is, uh... You're gonna have a tough time with that one. <laughs> Boom. Also, uh, if Drakaya Bob is, uh... Is still here. Uh, you going at six o'clock, um, today? Because if so, I'll do, like, a quick 20-minute session here, and then I'll, uh... I can raid thee if you like. You guess? I can't, I can't, I can't do guesses. We need some definitive answers here, young man. Nah, that's fine. <laughs> okay then, I'll do that at six o'clock. I shall do it for you, my friend, yeah. Hello. You are gonna get smacked. I always forget you can slap out the uh, the puke in the air from those enemies. I always forget about that. Smack the puke with your gun. I descend another level. Will I ever see daylight again? Yes. Yum. I guess it's kind of a good thing that I don't I don't think we ever need to do any of the uh figuring out the gods and stuff in this mode. So it looks like we're just getting purely loot from uh from the out oh, sorry. from the containers now. Yeah, young mank, be specific. <laughs> Keep streaming. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be finishing up soon anyway. That's why I was asking, because I want to get food and stuff. Because I'm hungry. I'm a hungry boy. I'm stopping because I want to stop. <laughs> But I, I do, I do, um, it's like I said before, it is nice when, like, everyone's sort of congregated in one, one place. It's 
It's probably a, probably a dumb, outdated idea, sure, from me. But uh, it, it's just kind of nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cozy, as I like to say. Oh god. Yeah, don't stand there. Just shoost it. Shoosting always works. You hate streaming. Yeah. Yeah. No, not really. I enjoy it. Assembly is about as low tier as it gets, but it's not that bad once you get past the syntax. I see. You have accumulated enough data to estimate the probability when Drax says, I guess. There's an 85% chance of the thing happening. When he says, I don't know, it's about 5%. That's about right. <laughs> And, and it's never, never a normal, uh, it's never a normal, I guess. It's always a, I guess. With the, uh, with the, um, guess being in full capitals. Because he, he, he judges us. Taunts us. He looks down upon us as lesser beings because we are not dragon, nor are we kobold. Oh, would you look at that? Send another level, every subtle noise, every smell sets my teeth on edge. Sniff! It's a stinky game. I feel exhausted and anxious if I press on, perhaps I can get a second wind. It's too quiet, something is lurking in the darkness. Something worse, more calculating, more evil than usual. Would my father be proud of me? Yes. I am your dad. Oh god, we've got fucking anxiety. Ugh. Good thing I got the, me the, the melee upgrades. Because that's actually doing some... Get away. Oh, shit. No, thank you. Oh, it's the fucking tool, man. You can fuck off. Wait, run for it. Yes. New challenge available. Hmm. Hmm. Ho hum diddly dot. Wait, what? Oh, there is an item in there. Okay. Just barely hidden out of sight. Lock a pick. They're a lot less of a pain in the ass when you have the melee upgrade. Hey, Missy, end of the stream. Running back and forth to get dinner ready, so a preemptive thanks for the stream. No problem, Raptor Bob. No problem. I'm only going for another 10 minutes anyway, so. Do enjoy Dindins. Oh. Ah! No, my mind. Oh, God. I was looking away, how dare you wave your one? You fucking pyjama wearing twat. Ow. Really should be using these hollow points. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Why would I use that? Why would I use a muffler down here? 
What's a silly game? The thing about assembly is that because it communicates with the hardware directly, you'll be able to make the best performance optimizations for it. That's why a lot of old engines had portions of them written in assembly. Intriguing. Some game development history right there. Smack. 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 Best pre the best way to prepare your meatballs is to make sure they're floating in the air and then smack them while they're spinning around. The more dangerous they are, the tastier they get. No, oh, QQ. I'll not go on a date with you. Go away. There's a boss in here. You again. Fuck off. Send another level, every sort of noise, every smell. Okay, yeah. Repetitions. Oh, lovely. Oh, I won't be one. They're everywhere nowadays. It's like seeing certain people in like YouTube comments, and then you see them on uh, basically every video you go to. And you just start wondering to yourself, are you fucking stalking me? Oh, oh bloody anxiety. Mm. That's very relatable, honestly. Anxiety is a bitch. Smack and bashums. Lovely. Spank the ass. Worth knowing that you're not an expert on this topic, you, you just pretend to be one. <laughs> so long as you're not on uh, Reddit, I'm very smart. I think you'll be fine. No boss monster. This is fun little mode though. I quite like it. Especially with all the, all the star sign stuff, I imagine uh, if you get the right upgrades and everything, you can probably go uh, quite the distance in this mode. I'm pretty sure you can save during this. I want to at least try to get to level 10 at the very least. Lovely. Probably get to level 10 and then I shall uh, end up there. But did boop. Aha, had a feeling you'd be up here. Oh, hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, it was just a ghost.
Bloody trees trying to stab you all the time. Such a nuisance, ain't they? You read it. You don't die before level 10. Uh, I, 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 I think we'll get there. I think we'll get there. I have, a, I have a pretty good feeling about it. Good old pukey. Hello? Uh, oh, God's the officer. Uh, no, you're weird. Uh, 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 go in. Shit. Oh god, oh god. Well. We'll be fine. Get in there. Oh. Don't want to kill myself. Go away. I'm not that depressed. Oh, joy. Oh, I found the bloody exit already, would you look at that? Yeah, yay! Right on time as well. My family's safe, yes. Right on bloody time, would you look at that? Okay, yeah, I can save her. Nice. Well. I do love a good bit of uh, the consuming shadow. It's always a good time, isn't it?